Merry Christmas! Hello! Merry Christmas! Merry Happy Christmas Eve! Hi! <laughs> Happy Christmas Eve or Merry Christmas Eve! We are actually doing some pepper pot. Good morning everyone. Good morning around the world. We are sending some love and energy and some warmness to everyone around the world. Uh, so we are cooking some pepper pot. I already attached the recipe guys to so check out the pepper pot recipe. Especially for all our Trinidad friends. Yeah. They all want to try the pepper pot. Okay. So you can actually buy the pepper, the cash rib, the main ingredient right there in Trinidad in all the super grocery store, right? Yes. Because Chief carries it. So guys, check it out. And um, we have the exact recipe. I, show, I share an older video from YouTube. I'm cooking with Stacy's Kitchen over there. And I made pepper pot, so I put a recipe. We'll pretty much use the same exact recipe for this pepper pot. And mommy's, mommy's um, supervi supervising us. We already have all ingredients and everything. Okay. Okay. And normally I'll put a lot more things in it, different things, but we're really cooking it Guyana traditional way yes. right now. Guyana. Yes, Guyana. <laughs> yes, yes. We're now use, we're using mixed meat, so you can use any of these also if you would like. So let's go ahead and go outside. Oh, yeah, yeah. Three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> mommy's cold. The place is cold. We yes. don't have snow here, but we have coldness. It's only like in the four. Right now it's 53 degrees yeah. here, and it got down to 46, I think. You see my shirt? Long sleep, Darcy. Uh -huh. Oh, and guess who went fishing in the morning? Oh, and John already went fishing in the nice cold weather. For us, this is cold. I know many Before of you are... Before sunrise. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, what is it, Jenny? Sorry, Mom. I didn't mean to interrupt <laughs> you. But I said before I went fishing before sunrise and caught about six fish. Uh -huh. I caught a few uh, blue runner, a sergeant ranger, and some pugfish, and those are all actually really good in fish fry, Guyanese style. Oh, mm -hmm. nice, nice. Yes, yes. So, um, so we are actually going to the village market in Miami, Redlands, uh, Redlands. in the Redlands, actually in the Redlands, and um, so we we want to put on the pot here, and I have some coals in there, and leave it to cook while we're gone. I'll leave it on the fire side for, for it to cook while we're gone. So I want to show you how to do this pepper pot. I also share a recipe for bread, plat bread, and I also share a recipe for amazing um, cake, the sponge cake. So check out those recipes if you like to share, um, use it. And let me know in the comments how you like <coughs> to do your pepper pot or how you like to do your cakes or your bread. Uh, tonight, when we get back, we'll be also doing some fruit cake mm -hmm. and sponge cake, yeah. oh. and the pepper pot will be cooking for tomorrow morning. I'll be baking some uh, bread tomorrow. What you guys want us eat like pork and beef? Um, you can do that with the pepper pot because it when you do it with the pork and the beef, it's more um, gummy. It's more you know. And nice. it's like the throttle and the knees, and so that's what you want to use a little bit pieces of those, especially if you're eating those things. Yes. It will make it a little bit more like what mommy says, the gummy. Yes, gelatinous. Yeah, gelatinous. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so let's go out here. We're going to go and start the pepper pot. Well, um, I'm making some eggnog later, everybody. Oh, yeah, John is making grandma's, grandma's, grandma's esters. Egg. Yeah, grandma's esters eggnog. So you're going to have some mm -mm in it. So we have our big pot here. We're using real fire, guys. Look what I'm doing here, cooking it on the fire side. I know many of you. Let me know in the comment. Let me know in the comment. Let, let us know in the comment how you like to make your pepper pot and how you like to bake your cakes. And so t today we'll be cooking some of that too. So I'm cooking it this outside, and I'll just cover this and leave it. Leave it. Um, but I'll leave it, mommy, like um, cook there. I'll be going and, and do some shopping and come back and you'll take the time and cook. Yes, yes. You don't have to use pressure pot and so it is. And of course, the main ingredient <clears throat> is the cashew rip. And this is from the Pamaroon River. The Pamaroon is in the Essequibo of Guyana. And what it is pretty much is cassava, water, salt, sugar, and spices in here that make this particular cashew rip. But cashew rip is a byproduct of the cassava. Cassava, also known as yucca, and it's like the bitter cassava or yucca for my international friends. And um, this this was invented with our Amerindian people there in Guyana. It's, it's our native people. 
and it was invented for uh, preserving meat because back then you don't have any refrigeration or any um you know anything like that so whenever they can get some sort of meat and this is including skin and everything they just put it all in there with these simple very simple ingredients and I just let it cook and it never it never come off I think they have um, a place in Guyana where the pepper pot has been cooking for 60 years because it's something that more it sits better it tastes so you want to cook it overnight and let it sit overnight and every day you warm it up okay and you can have pepper pot all year I do pepper pot all year and I also do chicken pepper pot turkey pepper pot I have a recipe for a turkey pepper pot on my YouTube channel and for today we're using a mixed meat pepper pot so I actually season the, 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 the mix the meat with exactly what we'll be cooking the pepper pot with I just season it to, like to start the process of the cooking so what I'm gonna do I'm putting it in here And mommy, mommy, um, mommy and I put these together to make it uh, a little bit more authentic. Mm -hmm. So what we have is some hot pepper, some cinnamon. You can use orange peel or you can also use lime peel if you don't have orange. Yes. We have some more extra hot spicy pepper Guyanese style mm -hmm. and some clove mm -hmm. and garlic. So that's it. This is yeah, such a simple pepper pot. Um, the, 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 the real taste of the pepper pot, you have to put a lot of fine leaf thyme and spice. That, and, and the cashew. Mm -hmm. You know, Cashier. you have to put more of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A fine leaf thyme. Fine leaf thyme, bring the taste. Yeah, yeah. And then you have to put your sugar. Yeah, mommy, um, you put a little bit of sugar too. Yeah. Brown sugar to make. That will give it a little sweet. sweetiness. Sweetiness yeah. also, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So it's exciting, mommy. This, this is the coldest mommy's been in. This is the coldest for this year. But you've been in colder because I took her to this uh, the mountains yeah. in Tennessee. Uh, you went to California. You that's uh, you went there oh, to see we went snow. To snow. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. she yeah. sees snow and so yeah. on, but. For the, she's still, you know, this is really cold for her too. It's cold for me. <laughs> okay, let me see, let me see. So we're gonna put a, okay. All right, so put some clove in there. Put some pepper. Uh, spice. This is the cinnamon, um, cinnamon. I also actually, uh, Marinated with a little bit of cinnamon powder. I'm gonna put in all these hot pepper in there too. Look at this. Yeah. Elaine, come closer to the fire. What are you thinking? Uh, here? Come closer to the fire. What are you thinking? Here? Pepper pot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not enough pepper. Hey guys, try my recipe for the pepper, the pepper plat bread. All you know is a great recipe. I can just add a little bit of pepper to it, and it's so delicious. It goes really well with your pepper pot. That's what I would be making, mommy. Just regular bread, but you can add a little bit of pepper to it. Look at this, guys. So the cinnamon, all that good stuff is in there. I'll put. And then I uh, put some garlic. Let me mix this in here. I'm just stirring it. I'm letting it go. Oh, 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 oh. Trying to delay. <laughs> and stir that up. Tommy, can you see or it's too smoky? No, no, we're good. We can see. Okay. It. The cool air is hitting the steam. Yeah, what's going on there, Johnny? So I made my grandma a little drink with some sparkling. Oh, what? what is it? Smart, sparkling one? Sparkling cranberry juice, a little um, uh, lime and some uh, pa passion fruit chong, which is like a syrup. Wow, you're so much grandson. Here's to your grandma. You smile. Hey, what? Look at it. This will help her throw oh, it's too. Warm? It's warm? No. no it's a little oh. cold. Oh, I should have. It's, it's, yeah, it's okay. okay though. Like. So, mommy have a little scratchy throat. She's not accustomed wow. to this weather, you know? Mm -hmm. 
So he's making her something packed of vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Also, it looks it like a nice cocktail. Yeah, no, it, it, I bet it's good. It's a non-alcoholic cocktail, guys. It's okay if there's alcohol in the bud. You probably just drink alcohol. I know. <laughs> I can't get my hands on any alcohol right now. So good. You're just making jokes. Life is cool, mommy, and life is short. You gotta live it. Mm -hmm. So let me go ahead and we'll put some sugar in it now. How much more? Some more? Mm -hmm. Okay. Put all the sugar. Oh, some sugar. That'll give it a nice sweet. How much? You put some? No, definitely not yet. So I'm storing in the sugar, guys. Check it out. Storing in the sugar. You sure everybody's seeing? It's like I can't even see the pot because of the, the breeze, you know? Wow, oh, look how good that's looking. It smells good. Now I'll put in some of this thyme and mix up and then I'll rest some on top. No, and this put is all. Put all one time. <laughs> for colors and tomatoes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Grandma's bossy. <laughs> So everything is cooking up nicely guys this is one of the quickest meal such simple example i don't think it's more than six six ingredients and i'll put some salt to taste and it is yeah. six ingredients and it tastes good yes man and listen you can do this with turkey you can do this with chicken you can do this it's, it's delicious you and for our vegans for our vegans and vegetarian friends you can also do this with katahar meat or the jackfruit meat. Mm -hmm. You can do this with it for, for vegan or vegetarian, okay? So try this, guys. Try this. There, and, and, of course, this is the main ingredient in the house, the casual rib. Yes, the casual rib here that we'll be putting in. And this dish is a dish that the color will be black. So you, my recipe will be in there. You want to put about a third cup of um casmir first for about you know four four pounds of <laughs> her meat. face <laughs> what he <is that>? said <laughs> she's cold she's holding her face oh. so let's turn this merry christmas everyone happy holidays we're sending our love and en energy to everyone around the world that is going through a little struggle battling this cold weather most of the united states right now is battling this cold weather so we're sending our love and energy and some of this amazing warmness. Stay inside. Uh, wear some warm, warm clothes, okay? And drink some warm tea. This is a perfect time to drink your bush tea, okay? Like your lemongrass. Use a lot of vitamin C. These are all what's good for this weather. And I love it. We are doing the same thing right now, too. Hey, Sam. Yeah, we just, um, we just step apart if you don't have cash, right? You just in the pan, you put a little bit of oil, and you put a good set of uh, sugar, and let it burn like and get dark, but not burn, burn for bitter. Mm -hmm. If you don't have cash rib, and then you put your meat and your seasoning inside and turn it up, you get the color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah. it's, it's ca cash rib though, it has to have that distinct taste, but you know, some people, yeah, they, they don't, don't have, have that, yeah, but you can use it and it, it'll be like a stew like a brown stew, but you can use it for the same thing. You yeah. know, this is a tradition dish that they use at Christmas. Mm -hmm. This is this is very traditional for our Guyanese friends and family. Mm -hmm. They do this for Christmas. So they cook it a couple days ahead of time. And on Christmas morning, they have this with fresh bread. That's Christmas breakfast. Yeah. However, man, I love this and I cook it anytime. Yeah, and Moses, my son. He already he shows. Back home in Guyana, it's man, it's six o'clock, he ring the phone and when I watch. The buyer show me a eat um, pepper pot and bread. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I can't wait for this to be finished. I'll be I eating. I love pepper pot. I love pepper pot and bread too. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. Sam, they're asking where you got your Portuguese uh, time. That was at Publix here, right? Yeah, Publix here. Guess what? Believe it or not, Sandy with a big time plant. <laughs> All no my time none. is left home. I didn't bring any. I brought some. Actually, I, I actually have some real guy in a time, but it's a dry one. So What's I marinate. I marinate it with a dry time. 
and um, my time from the garden but I don't have any fresh time and the couple plants I have here they're so little I can't pick from them and this is the time this is the type of time that you find here yes they are um, the guy and his time just like the the pepper pot you know you got a taste yeah the but pot. I do have the guy in his time but today, for my it's yeah. already marinated I just put that little time there for the effect and to show you what you need to put <laughs> yeah. But you can use any time, not everywhere has the guy in his time, you I know? Say, okay. So and the cash trick too. Mm -hmm. I look at it not guy in his cash. Right. So you see how good this is looking guys? Uh, yeah, only when you stir it. But it but is the um the thing fogged up now? Yeah, mm. you see? Okay. Alright guys. So so happy to be here. Thank you so much. For all the love and the support you're giving me and my family throughout the year. I'm so happy that my mom is here enjoying this. Yeah, I enjoy the little coldness. So there is no too. Shall we get coldness in? Mm. Uh, this yeah. is so nice. It's a beautiful day. Like I said, we're sending some of the sunshine to you. Mommy, go show them, go show them how big the tomatoes are getting. Mm. Tomatoes again. Sandy, she tomato on she balcony. Mm -hmm. And peppers and. And she got she pepper here. Oh, oh, mommy, did you see the pepper here? No. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I got some peppers here. I look, there are a lot of uh, flowers coming up. Oh, yeah, mommy, you didn't even go around the balcony yet to see the green I them. Around, but, nah, I mean, I that, that's a blue blackberry. All these, look mommy, they're all full of peppers, they're coming up, look well, mommy. you know you got luck with pepper, you always have pepper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well yeah, now yeah. I'm getting seeds, look, you see all these here? Like show them the, see mommy, all the flowers are coming up. So guys, so thank you all. Uh, we actually we already got dressed. Oh, let me show you what I get for my oh, today Christmas opening today. I got these pair of shoes. Look at them. It's so pretty. Isn't it so pretty? I love it. I'll be wearing it. I get this <laughs> for the Christmas for the weather. <laughs> and this. Look, look at my slipper. <laughs> so in the morning we have some gifts. We pick up a mommy a few things. We normally don't do this, you know. But if you got mommy a few things to have fun with tomorrow. So excited. Let me show you one more time. And thanks again. Let me know if you use this recipe. And uh, also check out all the other recipes I put down there. Um, cake recipe. Sponge cake. Delicious. So simple cake recipe. Um, flat bread recipe. And the pepper pot recipe. And we also will be doing some carambola cake later. And sponge cake. And... Uh, I don't know yet. Tomorrow we're doing baked chicken. Mommy's doing Guyanese fried rice, so I'll be taking lessons. And um, and uh, and John is making lamb, so that's what we're having tomorrow dinner time or lunch time. I don't know. And Whatever. Are you gonna be at the market later? Oh yes, we're going to this amazing market, the village market in the Redlands. They're open today. Um, you can find nice international vegetables also there. I need some karaila, I need some bora. You know, after this after this holiday, we will want our greens, you know how it is. So I'll be going now to go get some greens since the place is open. Plus, it'll be festive and nice and right, get you out a little bit and a little cold, you know, like so you feel like you get cold. And then you can wear boots, we can wear scarf, right, mommy? Yeah. So it'll be fun, it'll be fun. Love you guys, let me show you Bye -bye. one more love time. Love you, love you. Wait, Merry wait. Christmas to everyone. Tommy push me on a thing in my hand because I cold. <laughs> yeah, we have all our stuff is at the other house. <laughs> yeah. Wait. It's gonna be warming up today into the seventies, so mommy gonna feel really warm in a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think seventies or sixties. So that'll be perfect and nice and sunny. And a nice. Ah, this is looking good. Ah, oh, it smells good. Ah, see, see the light. Uh, it's just this smoke, right? Yeah, it's okay. It's, they're seeing it through. It's, 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 it's just because of how the wind's shifting on us. Yeah, I just want to see. The, I want you to see the color 
of this thing. I'm trying to bring it out where um, the la where maybe, maybe you can see it. Um, oh, yeah. Where is the light? Where is the light? Yeah. Uh, yeah, all right. Okay, let's show them the nice pepper, the nice mirror pepper. Yes. It depends where the wind's slowing here, we're getting it in a little bit. Ah, this looks good, right guys? So we're going to just leave it now, we're going to add water to it in a little bit. And we'll just leave it on the coals and let it cook all day. You can also put a little bit of ginger if you want. You can put a little bit of ginger in there and give it a nice flavor of ginger so this is how I change the pepper pot a little bit things little things like that I'll put and it enhance the flavor and plus it will tenderize the meat and it will be so delicious and again thank you all pardon me but how long does it take for it to cook oh you can leave three hours four hours some people put big big pieces of meat My, the pieces I put in here is not so big and um, so it will take a long time on a low heat a lot of people like to pressure it, but I advise not to. That's why you want to cook it day before, and more it sits, better it tastes. So we're gonna let it stay here all day on this heat, and then tonight we'll reheat it again and let it stay all night. So you, so all that juice and that flavor gets into way into the meat, and it tenderizes it. So tomorrow, oh man, oh man, it will be so so delicious. I'm so excited. I love pepper pot. I eat pepper pot any time of the day. All right, guys. They want to know how hard it is to start a fire outside in oh. this cold weather. Well, what I did, I put some, um, some like, you know, the, the, let me show you right here. I just put some of this uh, light, match light, and then I put some wood right away on top from the time this is finished burning, the wood it's like burning because you need this to be finished before you start cooking so i start with this first so man 10 minutes 10 minutes when i put this and i put the wood 10 minutes is ready for cooking that helps keep the heat going so the wood can take off so you have to start by try to put kindling right right and uh, tommy also pick up this uh thyme plant and uh, like i said i don't have the i have i don't have the fresh thyme i have uh some dry thyme from my garden that I season it with and then I put some of this fresh thyme. This is a, what kind of thyme is this one Tommy? I think that's Portuguese also. This is just a thyme. Okay, Portuguese thyme guys. You just gotta put a little extra of this if you don't have the Guyanese thyme. Or the, the Guyanese thyme is just like the thyme in Trinidad also. So but if you don't have that, uh, use a little extra of this one. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna just cover this and let it cook nice and slow. I put one more piece of wood in there and that's all I'm gonna leave there for it to cook with. Stay amazing everyone. Thank you so much for being part of us. Thank you for sharing, leaving a comment, especially if you're tuning in, wherever you're tuning in from, I love when you shout out we are tuning in from have a wonderful christmas and uh, where did mommy go she's gone she's cold <laughs> uh, she said tommy i cold yes yes and uh, i'm enjoying this it's so nice to have a jacket look i'm cooking outside in the morning with a jacket and my shoes boots and i love it i feel i feel like i'm in new york <laughs> <laughs> but with um without, sunshine <laughs> yeah without the ice and snow yeah yeah all right love you um we'll see you later and uh, have a great holiday let me know if you try any of these recipe i've been putting up okay for this christmas holiday let me know if you try these recipe and send me a picture of it and say i tried your recipe and let me know what you're doing different with your recipe love you